Hello folks, welcome to another daily Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Well, the market is following my analysis, it seems. No, it's not. It was, I, I guess many will say, yeah, it was very obvious that will happen. I guess it was obvious. Uh, 26.8, we just went a little bit more, even hitting 27, we didn't break the 27. We were really very close to 27. Afterwards, we declined. We're maintaining there, uh, while on Binance, at least, they are just selling big without really to move the price. That's <laughs> the most interesting part, I guess, partly because other exchanges are buying and, of course, futures. Anyway, uh, we need to see what's going to happen next because I have said I would just expect a price to push up hitting 27. That's what I have said yesterday and in the last recent days I were just expecting a push up. That's what happened. That's, you know, um, still don't we, we need to check the other informations and the other data. But it, at the moment, at least doesn't look like we are done. Maybe we will go a little bit more higher, maybe um, then maintain 27, maybe even a little bit higher. Not sure if that's it, um, but yeah, we need to see. I mean, at least I'm noticing on Binance, BTC, USDT, they are selling big. Just a few minutes ago, it was five uh, transactions in a row of 20 Bitcoins each, so 100 Bitcoins then 60 bitcoins afterwards so someone is there and that's absolutely not retail i'm absolutely sure about that but someone on binance is selling big why the price is not really declining anyway um today and another day where i have to say nothing really big i mean that selling i have said it's a clown show it's it has entertainment purpose but you know, they, they can just drive a little bit the market with that. A little bit of escalation, the market will drop. A little bit of agreement, the market will go up. And that's happening. I mean, that's casino. That's casino thinking. That's the only thing. And on casino, the main rule is the bank always win. And that's the case here as well, in my opinion. It's just stupid. Uh, what they are doing because it's obvious that they will agree at the end of the day it, it doesn't make sense to discuss if or not this option doesn't exist not <laughs> so it just takes a little bit more of time maybe but that's it at the same time wow uh, the, the market is pushing up because they are coming to yeah and just a few days ago the market is dropping because of uh, a bigger escalation and the um, you know and the debt selling discussion it's just a clown show it's really just a clown show anyway um, another thing that was really interesting today I was reading that um, in China they are expecting to have per week 65 million infections of COVID the first reaction of inspo was what COVID I thought it's it. We are done. No, we are not. It seems not. And we remember what happened with COVID in China. If they start again to initiate lockdowns, <laughs> we will see not one pivot, not two, not three, no pivot. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Joker right now, but if if, that, if that's going to happen, it, it seems it's going to happen. We are going to make a salto mortale back two years ago. And you remember what happened with inflation and so on and so forth? Well, we will see. But it, it looks like if that's the case, that's absolutely not bullish. Maybe for you, but not for me. Anyway. We will see if that's going to happen or not. Um, 
Well, everything else, it's more weekend time. Uh, don't forget, uh, Monday in Germany is a holiday, so I'm not going to provide any analysis Monday. So I have a longer weekend. Yee and um, yeah, so to be honest, I don't have anything else to tell you today. Not really. No. That's it. Let us go and check the market. Let us see if uh, the swing trade, if, if, if we should keep the long or if we should close the long. And uh, I hope you opened, as I mentioned yesterday, a 26.8. Um, um, just a head short. Um, and then we need to see how the market is going to react. At the moment, it doesn't look really bullish, to be honest, but it, it looks like once again to be a little fake ready, but we will see. However, let us go forward. Six minutes, initial comment. It's not that bad. So the world's ratio, 30 days moving average. After it reached, it seems it's top, it's declining. Yesterday we had a weights ratio of 47%. So it's declining. The trend is indicating we are going down. They sent enough Bitcoins to centralized exchanges, it seems. And well, now usually should in the next one, two, three weeks, I don't know. Uh, we should see such like of distribution uh, or at least a rising sell pressure. That's something we need to see. Um, if we take a look um, to um, the weight ratio 30 hours moving average, and I, I just need to adjust here a little bit my chart. Uh, that's great now. Yeah. Then we see that the 30 hours moving average is lifting up more. That's what we see here in the red curve. It's lifting up right now, touching 88, 90 should be the key. Uh, if we break 90, it's the moment where the cell pressure, where we should see and notice the cell pressure. Um, and then usually the price should drop. Uh, that should be the next. I have mentioned usually four times a drop and the weights ratio one hour time frame usually it's not bearish at all uh, every single time it happens every single time we had a lift up afterwards every single time so once yeah we push up before we decline second yeah we pushed up as you can see afterwards we decline however this one we pushed up we declined afterwards this one we pushed up we can decline anyway those four dumps are usually not only indicating that weights are in control here and they are driving the market at the same time it's also indicating us we can see a bigger push up but it can take a little bit so we need a little bit more patience if that's going to be it's I, I, I don't see here. I don't have a rule or formula to say, OK, that takes two days to three days a week or whatever. Uh, but I know historically when we see those dumps here, usually it's indicating, hey, we are close to the local bottom and afterwards we push up once again. Uh, we need to see. Um, at least we can see also here that the uh, stablecoin reserves on centralized exchanges are lifting up. We need also here to see if that's something, you know, if it's um, just lifting up to decline afterwards, it's a fake rally indicating we will, at, at least we can see they initiated uh, with these stable coins here, the push up and now they uh, sent more stable coins, usually also indicating we should go up more from here. Uh, but as mentioned, that's something we need to see if that's going to happen. Uh, I can imagine it could happen, uh, but however, uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's too early to say that. Anyway, we had today, for example, uh, a bigger inflow and net flow of 1,860 uh, Bitcoins afterwards, minus 1,300 and now another minus 1,500 Bitcoins, indicating it's almost neutral. We need to check here 
more uh, deeply what's happening and that's what we are doing now in the next chart. So as mentioned, uh, we see we have bigger outflows than inflows. So that's why it looks more red than green. Even we received here some money also indicating they pushed up the price with that. It was almost uh, how much? 130, uh, 260 million. So you can see uh, today it was more green than red. Um, but we also received uh three five four thousand two hundred bitcoins in the last four hours so usually that shouldn't be that bullish but you know at the same time if we check here unfortunately because we had a bigger outflow just uh, we can see here as well we had here also bigger outflow so 2400 bitcoins here but we still have some bitcoins remaining here so indicating it seems they are waiting um, you know I don't know if they are waiting to see another push up and then distribute uh, the remaining bitcoins or they are going to drop the price from here maybe that explains why for example or Binance I was seeing uh, bigger uh, sales for example so let us go forward so on futures if we take a look on futures uh, we see here uh, where's my line here's my line uh, funding rate went down pushed up a little bit retraced and now up indicating they are demanding more longs at the moment open interest declined pushed up declined pushed up declined pushed up declined okay so leverage ratio is doing something similar uh, it declined lifted up declined lifted up declined lifted up and it seems it's declining so at least here we see the correlation between open interest and leverage ratio um, now even a little bit higher than the open interest indicating that they are using more leverage than open interest if we take a look now here, uh, always the same crap. I don't like that. We see uh, that they are sending more stable coins to derivative exchanges. It's not huge, but uh, at least that's a trend. It's indicating they are sending more. And if we take a look, for example, wow, that's huge outflows of bitcoins from derivative exchanges i mean we started here that was yesterday with almost eleven thousand, and also here we are talking about uh i would say eight thousand bitcoins that was uh, last night and right now another 2200 what does that mean i don't know i really at the moment i don't know um if that means that all those who started to send bitcoins um you know shorting with that are done and they are taking profit and now we will go up it's absolutely unclear for me it's absolutely it was would be a wild speculation to do that i don't know uh, it's something we need to see how the cbd looks for example on coin march and contracts if we can see if they are selling shorts or buying longs uh, that's something could be interesting the aggregated yesterday we liquidated 447 bitcoins and longs and 411 bitcoins and short so absolutely nothing big open interest almost not doing any kind of progress it's maintaining on its level just the leverage ratio is pushing up more indicating their gamblers are using um yeah it it seemed it seems they are not using more more open interest more volume but using more leverage to create artificially more volume that could explain why why i'm noticing bigger sales on binance while the price is not moving at all because remember that binance has the biggest liquidity when someone is selling that much on binance usually the price should move to the downside it's not happening so they are using it seems future supporting with spot at the same time high leverage futures to maintain the price and to distribute at that level if if i'm right that means we we are at the moment on the local top and we should decline soon 
at least that's what it that's at least my interpretation you can have your own interpretation if you want so um that's it from here if we go forward we see that um, some shots are coming back uh, we have uh, 1 billion now we had yesterday less than 1 billion we are coming closer to 1 million uh, 1 billion 100 millions uh, but we still have almost 1.8 billions. Uh, the ratio declined uh, 62 to 38 in favor of shorts, at least since yesterday. In general, still on the long side. Uh, on Ethereum, it looks once again better, 55 to 45, indicating it's, it, in my opinion, I don't know why those who are trading Ethereum, it looks really better. But on Bitfinex, you remember we had yesterday 44 millions in shots. Now we have 46. It's even higher than just before. We had um, before 45, that was the biggest. Now we have 46. And we are once again below 2.5 billions on Bitfinex, indicating that's not bullish. And I can, I didn't check yet the CBDs, but I can imagine that Binance and Bitfinex both are not bullish and the CBD should be negative, but pff, maybe I'm wrong. We will see. Uh, if we go forward, let us check all leverage here, what they are showing us, 140 million, so it declined a lot and we still have the same situation like um, the recent days. We have um, at $19,000 a huge long liquidation cluster and the biggest is on 40k on the short side if we take a look i mean if oh, i hate that but let me <laughs> that's a trick if we check that here high leverage is on the short side even until here 60 almost almost 55 millions in liquidation cluster so indicating we should at least go up to, well, uh, that's something like 27 and a little bit more, 27.2 maybe, to liquidate all of them and then decline. So a bull trap and at the same time, the opportunity to liquidate high leverage. So if we take a look, um, BTC USDT on Binance still on distribution mode right now stabilizing aggregated looking exactly similar ah look what busd is doing that could explain why i was seeing even on btc usdt on binance a bigger i wouldn't say sell off but bigger selling i mean 100 bitcoins in in one minute 60 bitcoins minute later another it it sounds Really, it sounds like nothing, but it's big because the market is not moving that much. If you check the volume delta, for example, not the cumulative volume delta, just the volume delta, I show you that. Oh, we are going to go here. Oh, I need to remove all of them. And if you check here, you have bigger, for example, one, two, three, four four times 20 bitcoins purchased at almost 26,880 bitcoins. That's a lot. Then afterwards, one, two, three, 30 bitcoins afterwards. Well, of course the price is moving up. That, that's fine. That's how it should work. Then afterwards, 24 bitcoins down. Now I imagine we had just before here, for example, 45 bitcoins. One, two, three, four, five, one, another time, 100 bitcoins in one minute. Another 40 bitcoins here. Another one, two, three, four, another 80 bitcoins, 10 bitcoins, 10 bitcoins. If, if you check Binance, it's market 50, 52, then 64. Okay, that's fine. But if you check them, it's sell 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 then you have in sequences also bigger purchases like we had right now because they are pushing the price up but it's almost really decline so sell 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 and bigger sells indicating it is not retail so why the price is still lifting up i mean of course 
uh, we had here for example in one minute one two three four uh, that's 20 30 50 70 90 110 bitcoins obviously the price has to lift up but it didn't lift up as much as it should because of course afterwards someone sold 20 almost 24 bitcoins a lot of red as you can see everything usually below of two bitcoins you could declare as retail because retail usually is selling 0 0.1, another 0 0.2, another 0 0.1. And of course, then on the other side, we have algorithm. We have algorithm of bigger whales who are distributing bigger amounts. And then those who are using tiny amounts, but in faster phases. So every three, four, five seconds, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and so on and so forth. That's what they are doing. So uh, that's another um, another time I'm, I'm mentioning that. This tool is extremely nice to see what the market is doing. It's like a live tracking. You see that they are, for example, here on Binance, uh, um, accumulating uh, liquidity here at the moment could be spoofing like this wall could be spoof and then go up to 27,500 could be possible but it looks a little bit we will go down hitting for example 26.3 maintain there and then we need to see what's going to happen next step by step guys step by step however BUSD Declining, indicating that the big guys on Binance also distributing USD pushing up. Okay, maybe I was wrong with Bitfinex or it's Coinbase. I don't know. But as you also see here, correlates very well with the future market. Um, it's not the case. I don't see that they are um, selling shots more than buying longs at the moment. They just uh, followed the price, to be honest right now selling short so they are shorting at the moment more and a little bit following what BTC USDT is doing so Binance as mentioned what they did here the price pushed up they distributed in more that's what the aggregated is doing so every single pair is also looking similar it pushed up here it was it it really looks like a fake, fake really pushed up to go down once again and the only thing that's maintaining the price are the futures at the moment. Oh, Bitfinex. Well, then I was right. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't, I, I really thought maybe they, they both. So I was right in the beginning of, of this video. These guys really are distributing it's bearish that's not bullish that's indicating they are selling more than buying Bybit also distribution mode coinbase was it seems the main architect here and maintaining also very interesting same bit stamp well kraken now since since a while just pushing up in Gemini, wow, once again, what happened to Gemini, look, that's a, I mean, that was yesterday already, okay, nothing, nothing changed, that was yesterday, yeah, where I was wondering about the volume, so also interesting, very interesting, we know, uh, we go now forwards and check what's happening here, we start with uh, the entities, let us start with the entities, uh, we see that retail is lifting up once again. Also, this guy is maintaining, this guy is maintaining, this guy is declining. Market maker declined and lifting up. So neutral, this guy is lifted up, is declining, this guy is not doing anything. Now we check the wallet counts. We see retail, wow, like a rocket. So more and more retail is having more than, well, at least more than none Bitcoin, but less than one Bitcoin. Uh, this guy's also lifting up, this guy's maintaining, this guy's declined after they pushed up hard. Uh, now, 
okay they are lifting up they are declining in stabilized since yesterday and they are not doing anything hmm looks a little bit strange if we now go and check stablecoin flow activity let us start with the supply on exchanges it lifted up and declined so it lifted up that was may 24th i have mentioned uh, where I have said hmm, looks like we will go up and since 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 this midnight it declined a little bit while the price afterwards pushed up once again and now we can see weight transactions count with more than one hundred thousand dollars it didn't really lift up it's maintaining that's the yellow curve is maintaining now let's take a look yeah white trans uh, transactions count with more than one million you can see at least here that was when they started to push up once again the price up uh, they were very active exchange inflows we received just close before we pushed up um two billions and exchange outflows afterwards we had uh, an outflow of 520 millions, then another 570 millions, then another 1.16 billions, and then another. Oh yeah, that's it. So it's a zero sum game. It's just indicating they pushed up the price while they could just distribute uh, the way up and also taking out the money, it seems. So that's it from here and wow wow that looks like we will go down that looks like we will go down or we will see but it looks like really we will go down uh, we can see on larger scale maybe oh yeah that that's on binance the funding rate is is big is uh, indicating it's positive on derivative it's neutral yeah so we will see but it wouldn't surprise me if we will go down from here once again uh so let us take a look what the market maker is doing here at that level if they are distributing more or not and we can see oh they sent here another 1000 bitcoins another 200 uh, 320 420 1500 bitcoins since 1 p.m today so eight eight hours ago just to distribute i guess and yeah you can see that miners are reducing their reserves more more and more we see here that bybit weights ratio is lifting up orcx is lifting up but still very low and who is that here oh bit phoenix weights ratio pushing up very hard right now the last time we had that we declined oh, I would be careful it looks like preparation on Bitfinex at the moment and a Bitstamp and Gemini as well lifting up but Bitfinex looks crazy funds declining more their balances so we reached a new level for 2022 and 2023 and I guess even more So if we check that, uh, we remember then they started to buy, 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 spot ETF, blah, 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 the whole story. And they started to reduce there since May 2021. The biggest drop was in June 2022. And since then we lifted up a little bit, but the trend maintains um, declining, indicating uh, we'll they the the demand for their assets is shrinking in 
yeah, I would say a big part of institutionals are here. So uh, at least the spot volume versus derivative volume is lifting up in favor of spot volume, indicating we have a bigger spot activity than future activity at the moment. And that's it. So on Coinbase, very unchanged. They sh shifted a little bit of liquidity from 22.2 to 22.5. Um, more liquidity came to 24. Um, still a lot of liquidity at 25. Yeah, and that's it. So uh, I would say almost unchanged. We are below of the POC. We fade once and the question usually we will have a sharper price move to the upside or to the downside, just because we get rejected here. Uh, Bitstamp, on Bitstamp, yeah, they are also here bringing some more liquidity at the level of 25, 25, 5. Binance, BTC, USDT, I've showed you, uh, they reinforced here 27, 5, but um, we still have here, for example, on the POC, uh, we still have here um, a wall at 27 and a lot of sell volume there as well. But the biggest liquidity is still between 25, 25, 5. So liquidate all the shorts. Uh, you remember the story how to let capitulate those who wants to short? It's really simple. Maintain a level, let the price look very weak. So people start to short, 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 let the price go down a little bit and then push up. You will liquidate all these gamblers. Make it, uh, it's, you can make this two, three times in a row. These guys will stop to gamble. Uh, it's the easiest way how to let them capitulate um, and to make money at the same time as an exchange as well. Um, at the moment on, on uh, Binance, they are um, bringing some liquidity and position between 26.3 uh, and um, 26.1. So uh, we need to see. Otherwise, it could happen that they push up to uh, absorb all these just to sell because they would then use more futures than spot. So then to sell and then to go down. But it could be also spoofing, so we need to wait. Uh, BUSD, um, nothing. Now Bitfinex, BTC USD, um, yeah, also nothing. Oh, we had here a bigger, wow, someone sold the local top. Yeah, with a volume delta of 237 Bitcoins. That's a lot for Bitfinex, to be honest. Uh, but also here you can see we have a big amount of uh, sell volume here until 27.7 I would say. Otherwise uh, 25 as well and the next scope. OKEX spot, nothing. Kraken. They even removed all this liquidity here and now they uh, have started to concentrate to 25.5 and 25.2. But at the same time, 28 is here, as you can see. Bitmax, on Bitmax. What is Bitmax here doing? Nothing. Now derivatives, we start as usual with Bybit and BTC USD. Nothing. Now BTC USDT on Bybit, also nothing. Now Binance BTC USDT, wow, okay. Once again, usually indicating we can go up to 27.2, yeah, 27.2 before then down hitting, for example, 25.2 or something. At the moment, also here waiting at 26.2, just in case of um, to hold the price there, but it looks like really they are, um, they want to let the price push up. Um, the the strange thing here is usually they push up the price just bringing some liquidity here uh, too long. So if if the price goes down, they absorb all the price and push up afterwards. But it's not happening. 
Now BTC BUSD on Binance, nothing. Bitfinex derivatives. Uh, we have here almost at 28. And that's it. At 28, we have a concentration of shorts. Oh, also interesting. 28,000. Now Kraken futures. Nothing. Now OKEX futures waiting at 25.5. And also here, that's it. And Deribit. On Deribit, we see we have here 25.3, 28.9, and they reinforce 24.4. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting, interesting what Deribit is doing here as well. Okay, that's it.